it's your boy Josh back with another banger for today. I'm going to be talking about Google Forms and Jot Forms. Now, which one of these are actually better? Now, to be honest with you, if you were to ask me personal opinion, I would go for Jot Form. Why? Because Jot Form has more features compared to Google Forms. Though, Jot Forms also has its cons. For example, if you're not going to subscribe to their premium account or with their, you know, uh, paid subscription, what happens is you're going to be limited, like the responses on your form are going to be limited. So as you can see right here in their pricing, they have 100 monthly submissions available for their free. While in Google form, I think it takes a lot just before you actually reach the limit of the forms, right? So. That's one of the cons. And also, I'm um, considering that I'm currently in um I'm currently um in the Philippines for some work. This is actually quite expensive if you're you know if you're based in the Philippines. So you really you really need to, to check all the things that are included with the pricing of JotForm because Google Forms is free, right? So we're just simply gonna talk about the pricing here because you know jotform is on the only one that has subscriptions so yeah personally i've used jotform and google forms so when it comes to features i would highly recommend jotform now when it comes to usability or let's say flexibility i'll go for google forms because first of all it's almost unlimited um it it gets the job done it also has its own features that JotForm doesn't have. So basically, that's all for this video. And if you want to know more, kindly comment down below your questions about these two form-making platforms so that I could upload a new video that's tailored to answer your question. That's all. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe. It's your buddy Josh. Gonna see you on the next one. Peace out.